Welcome back to Owen Tips TV. Great to see you coming back for more. And if you're new, you are very welcome. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for great tips. Today, we are going to do a review of the StreamX X1 Pro media player. Sit tight for a great review coming up just for you. said our review today is on the latest media player, the StreamX X1 Pro. It has a lot of great features. Looking at the box, the features that it advertises are 4GB of DDR RAM and 64GB of eMMC internal storage, which ensures uninterrupted performance. Having a Wi-Fi 6 and dual external antennas, your connectivity soars to new heights ensuring seamless streaming. It runs Android 12 software embracing the advanced Android 12. The StreamX X1 Pro enhances your viewing experience. Next, let's open up the box and take all the components out and look at each piece individually. First is the StreamX X1 Pro device itself. So we'll take this out of the packaging. Now, what we'll do with this for the moment is we will just leave it to the side for now. Next, we'll take a look inside more, and here we have the user manual, which gives you an insight of how to use the device and the setup. We'll also leave that to the side for the moment. Next, we have a HDMI cable. Let's take a look inside this packaging. Good sturdy cable with protectors on either end of the HDMI cable. Now, we have the power plug. Look at this. So we're in Europe here, and this is not a European plug, so you'll need an adapter to be able to plug that in. Now, last thing inside the box is the remote. And the remote, this remote contains an upgraded voice command system. The Bluetooth remote control which helps simplify your streaming experience, preparing you for an immersive journey into a world of endless content. It does require two AAA batteries. Now, let's take a look at the StreamX X1 Pro box itself. Looking at the back of the StreamX X1 Pro, there are two antennas. There is an SP DIF port, a LAN port, a HDMI 2.0 port, an AV port, an IR port, and a DC port. To the left side, it has ventilation all along the top, the reset button at the beginning, then a USB 2.0 port, a USB 3.0 port and a USB card reader to increase the storage. At the, at the front it has an LED display along with an LED power light. To the side it has ventilation support and the bottom of the device has four rubber feet to help level it out. And to test, we're going to place it down on the table and attempt to wobble it. It's very sturdy. All elegantly packaged within the sleek and sophisticated design of the StreamX X1 Pro. You just plug and play for ease of use. Just plug it in, connect your internet and enjoy. So next we are going to boot it up and have a look at the internals of the StreamX X1 Pro media player. Here we can see the display loading for us, showing the very sleek and elegant StreamX X1 Pro logo. We need to wait for it to load. As you can clearly see, it has a simple, easy to follow layout. Next, we are going to open up settings and connect to the internet. 
Now, after connecting the internet, we're going to go back to the home screen. As you can see, there's live TV, video on demand, playback, the app store. And that's where we're going to go. We're going to select the app store again in here. And we're going to let it load. As you can see, there's lots of preloaded apps like Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, TTV, Cyberflix, and many, many more. The main apps we are going to focus on are the Echo apps, like Echo TV. We need that to access live TV. So we're going to select that now and select install and allow that to download so that we can use it from the StreamX X1 Pro media player. This takes a few moments to download. Don't forget to subscribe to Owen Tips TV for more great videos. The next app we are going to look at downloading is the Echo Video On Demand. Again, we just select to install and allow it to download. And now we were going to install Playback, another Echo app. Again, we just need to let it download here. Now, looks like it's installed. Just as you can see, lots more pre-downloaded. Just click on them and install them if you want any of them. We're going to select YouTube. We're going to install it. We're going to let it download. Now, that's finished installing. We're going to go back out of here, back to the main screen from the Stream X X1 Pro. We're going to select Live TV. We're going to add in the Echo TV app. Now, that is added in for us. Next, we're going to go into Video On Demand. We need to add in the app we use for this, which is the Echo Video On Demand. And also with Playback, we need to add in the app we wish to use for this, which is the Playback app. With that selected, now we can go back in and access live tv we'll select this first allow it to load only takes a few seconds really now that it's loaded up we can see a long list of tv channels many popular channels are available in here you can go by region sports ppv events nba Select it by what you like to watch. There is so many choices in here. You could even select by location. Now we're going to come back to the home screen of the Stream X X1 Pro box. And next we're going to select to watch a video on demand. Again, very quick to load. So you can see in here, there's a recommend section, newest movies, TV series. Many great movies and TV shows. Don't forget, there will be a link to purchase the StreamX X1 Pro media player in the description of this video. Even from within these, like if you select TV series, you can search by genre, new release, action, adventure. You can even search directly to see what TV show you wish to watch or what movie. 
Now we're going to go back to the home screen again. Now we're going to open up apps and have a look at all the apps that we have installed. As you can see, there's YouTube, Playback, Echo TV, even the Google Play Store is available in here. Now back to the home screen. As you can see, there's an option for settings here, which shows network, Bluetooth, account and sign in, apps, device preferences. And then there's the file manager folder. So there's a local memory. Next, there's a setting menu that allows you to clear the system memory. This next one is allowing you to go on to Google Chrome. The next setting is allowing you to delete any installed apps that you have. The next step shows us how to set up voice control on our remote. Step one is press and hold the OK and the back buttons simultaneously for eight seconds until the indicator flashes. Step two is press the OK button once more. Now voice control is set up. Now there's an option here to set up the numbers on the keypad on the remote for easy access to different apps. Along the bottom row of the home screen, you have a shortcut to add apps here. If you would like to purchase this device, the StreamX X1 Pro, there will be a link for you in the description of this video. Drop your comment about what you think of the StreamX X1 Pro and thank you for visiting our channel today. Hopefully we will see you in the next video.